Hello, friends. It is me. I did not go to my child's football scrimmage tonight, so I can come and hang out with you guys because it's cancer time. Actually, I didn't even know when I said not to go, but sometimes mama's got to take some time to herself. Am I right? So, gonna go straight into pulling. Oh, got the panda again! Got the panda again. Just got this. I love this. I'm always seeing synchronicities in the cards. It's one of the reasons how I know tarot works so well. Create a sacred space for yourself in your home and your place of work. In your home and your bathroom and your kitchen and room. And yeah. Sacred space everywhere. Surround yourself with a sacred space. Also pay attention to the dualities of life. The truths that are true in one way. And then you see, wow, there's another side to this truth. The dualities of life. You are safe. Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. So I'm getting a lot of, you have the sacred space that's talking about your home, you know, also your body, also your energy around you, you know, like what you're bringing into your mental and emotional field, but you are safe and you are meant to live a blissful life. It's like the more you leave yourself alone, you don't get too caught up in the social conditioning. Okay, we live in a technological world, but when we get caught up in these social medias, caught up in these different ideas that are swirling around online, sometimes it's like, you know, just unplug and go directly to the source and get grounded. Then you will know what's real and what you should really focus on. Okay, let's pull it. It's time to take action. Love it. A lot of fiery climax energy. A lot of like getting over stuff. Like a lot of movement. There's nobody's being, not a lot of people are being stagnant right now. I'm going to take one more of these. A time to give rather than to take. And this is a new moon, a new moon, a new moon in Virgo, which is great because we have a lot of Virgo energy. Virgos are very like Gemini's, um, kind of dualistic in a way. Gemini's plus Cancer, Cancer. This is about Cancer, but it could be Cancer Sun, Moon, Ascendant, Venus, cross watching. Doesn't matter. You're safe. You're here. I'm glad you're here. We're gonna learn and we're gonna get through this together. Okay. It is a time to give rather than take. We know that which we give out comes to us multiplied anyway. So why not give? Time to take action. You're safe. You're safe to take action. It's time. Okay. Create that sacred space. Not only in your home and in your work, but also that means in your time. Take the time to do the sacred things, you know, to do the healing work, to do the shadow work, which is the same thing. Like shadow work is healing work and the child work. It's like, there's slight differences, but it's basically the same thing. Got playlist on this Love Attraction. Check it out on Clearberry channel. Not Clearberry Sanctuary. Okay, let's get into this. It's time to take action, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. We've had some troubly times. We've had some heartache. Okay, maybe we've helped to contribute to some of this ourselves. Just being honest, Cancer. Okay, but it's all helping us learn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And it's all part of our twin flame journey. <laughs> okay, heartache is the twin flame journey. I don't think I've spoken of them. I have a lot of people, I just assume when they come to this channel, they're like, oh yeah, they know about twin flames. But, you know, a twin flame is not all, it's not all peaches and cream. You go through shit together because that's what you have to do to grow. It's the fool's journey. Like, you don't just latch on to somebody because, oh, you knew them before. Like, you knew a lot of people in your past life. Twin Flame Journey is beyond. Twin Flame Journey is, like, the past and the future. And it's, like, it's this, it's the, it's the whole journey. 
Like it's going through and falling in love with everything, you know, and falling in love with each other, but also, you know, you're falling in and out of love, <laughs> to be honest. You know, you're uh, reverberating with the natural flow. And again, it's not stagnant. If anything is stagnant, is it, it might be lovely, but I don't consider that what the true purpose of love would be for like a twin flame person, which I am. You know, ever since I heard that word, I was like, oh, yep, I knew it. Even then I had, a, I had to learn about it a little bit more. And I'm like, okay, I am discovering new levels of this thing all the time. And now it's way even beyond that, you know, just going way beyond. So the energy that we have and that we have had in the recent past is a little bit of rocky. We've been suppressing a little bit. I feel like we've been kind of working against ourselves a little bit here. I feel like we've been kind of covering stuff up, trying to wait it out. I'm like, oh, it'll get better, you know, later, or I'll just not, you know, kind of like a little denial going on and just kind of maybe like in action, not enough action and a little too much overindulgence. You want to go full speed ahead but you have to wrap your mind around it first if you want to have success you have to wrap it around your mind and vice versa you have to know the ins and outs of what you're doing you have to believe in it like ten thousand percent because you're you don't get a true if you have to know it's a true passion of yourself inner and outer you have to know it's a, tr it's a true passion to know that it's worth pursuing so if you have a new idea we don't latch on to every single idea right now i feel like there's a lot of energy a lot of mental energy right now and a lot of, oh, we could do this, a lot of possibility because it's, we're in between these, uh, skipping these timelines. So we're choosing right now. It's like, it's almost like it's a dial. It's a spinning, it's spinning. It's like where we want to stop. Well, you better get your energy right so you know where it's going to stop. Like you better slow your roll right now because come September, in the middle of September, you don't want to be stuck like, oh yeah, it's still in the energy that you're in right now. You need to get higher like quickly, like truly higher. Because if you're not getting better, you're actively getting worse. There's no in between. Do the shadow work, do the inner child work. You will feel better, you will look better, your better things will happen to you. You are beautiful, okay? We have Virgo energy coming. We're in Virgo energy, Virgo sun right now. Like it's, um, it's a calming energy for a lot of people. It's not going to obviously feel the same for everybody, but a lot of the earth signs are going to feel a lot more comfortable now, you know, than they have been. And I feel like water is very closely connected to earth. I noticed that I have a lot of earth friends and lovers and stuff like that. Um, just because that's the vibe sometimes you get, I don't know. Okay. Let's keep going though. Again, there's a lot of lessons being learned here. I feel like we're, we just need to come into our own. We know about manifesting. It's kind of like we're going through the motions. That's going to cause us some problems. We know, you know, when you're not like fully living up to your potential. And again, I think it has to do with some kind of indulgences. You're indulging too. Like there's, some, there's a lack of balance here. The, I feel like the health, the health piece, the health side of it and the overindulgence probably in, you know, it could be emotional. It could be like obsessive tendencies as well. Just like over some, you know, something's going on too much. You just full steam ahead going on for this and it's causing your mind to not work as clearly and to kind of sink down into a lower, you know, realm and state of vibration and frequency and state of just state of mind like a low you're you're experiencing a lower state of mind everything's pointing to a lower state of mind and an inaction a blocking you're not learning from your lessons right now cancer what this is like i i'm being extra hard on you because like i'm double cancer like i'm a cancer sun and moon i just really you guys have so much potential to just like like level up upon level up like like your whole everybody's going through a lot of change right now cancer with all of this energy and the eclipse still we're still riding the eclipse energy like if you think we're way past that now you don't understand 
astrology and not that I understand it very well, but I try to pick up on things, you know, that I find that are themes and, you know, we've got our person, we've got the heartache. That's why we're overindulging, to be honest. I mean, just to be real, but we have to wake up. We have to move into something else very quickly, like I said, because September is coming and it's going to be here like, gosh, I don't even know when you're watching this video, but I feel like soon again, there's going to be like a karmic return. I don't know what to call it. Like all of a sudden, whatever you're doing, whatever vibe you're in, that's what you're going to get for a while. Like that's the energy that you're going to be stuck in for a while. So make sure that what you're doing these next few weeks, it's basically like cram time, you know, like spiritual cram time. Like, let's get busy, you know. Let's do two more here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need to go way higher. We need to go way higher. And we need to act. We need to follow through. Okay. You, you know what to do. Like, you're kind of. Like I said, you're kind of talking the talk and maybe not walking the walk. Like I'm calling myself out here. <laughs> That's so funny. But, you know, we're here. You know, we're leveling up so fast. It's like, don't be hard on yourself. Just relax. Relax. Be proud of who you are. Like you are so supported. You are so supported. Whether it's ancestors, spirit energies ancestors just your natural just star sun sign planet connection you know of the basic being of who you are you know like you are incredible you are you are so incredible and you like i said you're just you're right there like all of a sudden you could snap and you could be there but for some reason you're, you're blocking yourself a little bit Okay, just a little bit, you know, may not even be the biggest deal in the world. Because like I said, you're doing, you've been leveling up. You know, you know what to do. And you know how to do it. You know, but you have also had a lot, you know, like this is a lot of new, I feel like you're going through a lot mentally right now. Like, and it's causing you to get off track, maybe physically and maybe emotionally. And it's causing you to not be able to delve into the spiritual work and the shadow work and the, you know, the inner child work, and just learning and tarot and all this different stuff. Like it's causing you not to be able to maybe have time for that and not to be able to do that. Um, but just focus on that, you know, like just claim your own and decide, you know, you set the intention that you're going to overcome any kind of demons and setbacks and just put, put that out there. Just speak, speaking and in stuff into existence is like, there's a reason it's called spelling, like go for it. You know what I mean? You create your reality and you know that. So again, there's really no holding you back. Like you're right there. You're making huge change and you are safe. Okay. That's why you can take action because you know you're safe and because you know that you're going through these changes for the good of yourself and everybody, you know, like your healing helps the entire world for real. There's an awakening going on. This is beyond us all. We are part of something great, something incredible. It's going to be music, dancing, jubilee. You know what I mean? But it's all made possible if you go inward and you have to go through the tower moments and you have to learn the lessons from the tower moments or else you're not, if you're not progressing in some way, shape or form, that's why it's all about the baby steps. It's all about the, a little bit of movement every single day. Like the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. Why? Because stagnancy is decline. Stagnancy is not like if you're looking backwards and you're not in the now, then you're going to get worse and you're going to fall from where you're at, the level that you're at. Okay. In order to cross the bridge, you know, you have to take a leap of faith that that bridge is going to hold you. Everything material was at once a thought first. Our thoughts plus our emotions equal our beliefs and what we expect to be true about this world. And that's what manifestation is, is that what you expect. We are so incredibly powerful. We don't even know the extent of who we are, why we're here. We are disconnected. 
we are brainwashed. We are socially programmed and enculturated and all of this stuff into things that are not who we are. That's why it's important to strip everything down. Strip everything down to the minimal. Know that there's the paradox of all things. Keep on getting higher and higher and higher and higher. You've got great wings on you. You've got great support system. You've got very powerful beings. You are safe. That's how you know. That's how you're being guided to create this extra special sacred space for yourself. So, because you're overcoming, that's what this whole thing is about right now, is overcoming ties, whether it's codependency, um, whether it's alcohol, whether it's drugs, whether it's whatever it is that's negative, right now you're cutting it out. That's why there's so much mental energy. You're completely changing your life and you are going higher and you are being um, one with the manifestation and all of this change. Like you created it. Be happy for yourself. Celebrate. You know, don't always be like stuck in this downward looking energy. The feeling thing, going through life being such a feeler, you know, as a cancer, it's like, especially if you're a double cancer like me, you know, going through life feeling a lot you can always want to maybe numb it down a little bit and you can't be doing that right now okay so we've got a brand new beginning here we've got you know you don't stick to your old habits your old ways you are the manifest you are in charge and once you get a grip around that once you realize that the love and all of the heartache that you've ever had it's all for a reason you know it's all for you to come into your power to be able to be strong because if we were given everything, if everything was so lovey, oh, lovey dovey, never have any problems, you wouldn't know somebody. You wouldn't know yourself. You, you wouldn't have the ups and downs. You wouldn't have, you would have stagnancy. You don't necessarily want, stagnancy doesn't help you grow. Okay. We're always moving forward. And let's clarify the lover's card here. Looking forward, Ooh. we've got the lovers moving, like you're moving in this relationship, in your twin flame relationship, you're moving from just that, oh, let's be lovers, like let's, okay, maybe let's have kids, maybe let's get married, maybe let's do this, what is expected of you, what society tells you to do. Oh, lovers should be together forever and do this exactly as everybody says and get this kind of ring and do this and this and that. It's like you're moving away from that into a more real, like a more, it's more about your feelings and what you can do together, uh, what you can be, actually be, experience together rather than kind of a showy thing like... Let's put on a dress and get married and have this legal stuff. And, uh, you know, the health stuff is important. I feel like with a marriage, like if you want to be able to, that's the thing with like getting married legally can help you, what, tax wise and what is it, um, you know, in, in the doctors and stuff to be able to go in and see your partner um, whenever they just had surgery or if they're sick or whatever. Like that's like important reasons to get married on paper but otherwise it's really more about the emotional and that's the thing like twin flames like you come together and you just kind of stay together against all odds and it's all about the feeling you know you just got to kind of go with the flow and let your feelings lead the way because everything else is really darkness and we think it's the mental and so again sometimes it is the mental and sometimes it is the emotional and you guys balance each other out that way too. And kind of, it's almost like the back and forth, you know, which is the dance of life is to like go back and forth and chase, do the chase and do the, you know, and it's not that you're playing games. It's just like the natural ebb and flow of things. It's like kind of, it's always interesting, you know, because you're, it's never, it's never getting stagnant. You know what I mean? Like with all of this growth and with all of this change and with all of this stuff that you have a purpose of doing this, it's beyond yourself telling everybody that lately like your manifestations and you're showing others how to manifest you're leading the way here that's why you need to treat yourself like a queen treat yourself like a goddess 
Create that sacred space for yourself in your home, your work, everywhere you go, your car, sacred everything. Everything's sacred with you. Like that's just who you are. You're safe. You are, you know, you're a person of action, you know, and you give. You're very generous. Okay, a couple more cards and then we'll be good here. So we might have a lot coming up for September. Okay, I'm just going to be honest, like going into, we're coming into like the end of, because I pulled a little bit of extra cards here, just kind of felt um, obligated or obliged to do that. And I can tell exactly what this is right away. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, it's the friggin tower card. But then it's also, yeah, because um, like I said, things are kind of good right now. And it's like, you're very safe. You're always safe. That's, it's not about that, but there's going to be some more shakeups. Just gonna say it. It's gonna be some more shakeups in September. In September, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know on what level, whether it's gonna be personal, political, socio, whatever. Like it's gonna be geor, you know, geographical. Like I don't know. Like I'm kind of expecting some bigger things here for September. Like there's gonna be, like I said, this reading of energy, like an accepting of what is at that moment. And it's going to kind of set in stone for a little while. It's going to feel like that. And so that's why. And, and then what, what happens after that is that, bam, karma is like getting served, like on the quick fast with Saturn. And uh, people are going to feel it. There's going to be a lot of people maybe that aren't their happiest. Like people are kind of. You know, they're kind of freaking out. People are charged up. You know, I mean, we're the feelers and we're feeling this. And that's why we hide in our shells sometimes to protect ourselves. And you do need to do that. You do need to get that self-care and protect your emotions and protect that feminine side of yourself. Um, you know, and the mental. Like, balance your whole entire self. Your inner and your outer. Balance your spiritual and your mental. Balance your physical and your emotional, your past and your present, your future. Like, all of it together. And then you will move forward and then you will be, like rewarded and you know you'll be a leader you'll be the leader that you I think you really want to be you know what I mean but kind of like enjoy August you know right now because this is a really sweet spot this is like a really sweet spot for summer um especially around here I think my geographical location like we're just like I don't want to brag or anything like that but it's just like doing really well here and um I mean, there was some flooding, I guess, but like in my personal area, it's just like so great, you know, like everything is wonderful, but don't get too comfortable. You know, you're going to have things that are going on. You know, you're going to have to keep on moving. You're going to have to keep on looking ahead and focusing and doing the healing. Just like anti-stagnancy, take action, take action, take action. And this is headstrong. This is like, don't give up on what you were doing. Like you're a ram, ram it till it's good. You know what I mean? Take that action. You're safe to go to give it your all right now. Give, 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 give rather than take. Flow with that energy. Don't let it make you feel guilty, but use it to follow your heart to like where you, where you want and where you feel safe, you know, but like where follow your bliss you know what I mean that's part of creating the sacred space is that when you like really know yourself you can really create a space that really works better for you and helps you create your goals and that is manifestation like the, your feng shui is it's you have the inner you have the inner inner and then you have the inner and then you have that you know you have your physical body and you have the outer which is another manifestation like you have your soul and your mental and your emotional and then you have your physical and then like outside of that is your space so be sure and take care of that you know cancers are very known for you know making a, a good home you know making it cozy making it work so you know how you know how important it is you know and just go with the flow and you when you want to work, when you want to work on your home, like when you're inspired, when you're inspired, you know, work on a little bit here and there. Just stay restful too. 
this panda is really speaking to me right now like take care of yourself take care of your inner and your outer take care of your mental mental and your emotional take care of your daily actions and your habits like over time and you know just kind of relax and know that everything is working for your highest good because you're safe so courage be courageous and stand up for your beliefs all right that's it for tonight cancer hopefully you got some good out of this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you soon i love you guys bye